So we watched those two clips from a corporation, or the corporation. Uh, we get some of our, our favorites, Noam Chomsky, Chomsky who's not, not ever got treated in South Park, but we did, we did see Michael Moore, not with a megaphone, but we, we did see him. So basically, what is a corporation? I think mean, it's kind of, you know, comes through in both these clips, right? This is a legal charter uh, between government and a group of people, right? And this group of people is considered a person under the 14th Amendment. The only thing that by law this group of people or this person must do, right, this corporation, this person must do is to turn a profit for or on behalf of its shareholders, meaning its majority shareholders. We're talking about the people who own the real stock, not the stuff you just buy and maybe you have a few hundred shares of. We're talking about the people who have hundreds of thousands of shares and have a majority ownership and a real stake in the, in the company. Um, but you too, us peasants who have a few stocks, you know. Um, but anyways, that's it. Only thing that they need to do is try to turn a profit. And this, this as it said in the clip, there's no ethics this person has no ethics, meaning, and also the people that make up the, the legal person are not liable for what the legal person does, right? They're the ones who make the decisions, but what happens, you know, uh, the corporation can be found liable, but not the people making those decisions. So an example would be this. Uh, we're an oil company, and to improve our profits for the third quarter, we're building a new um, oil tanker. And we're going to remove one of the protective rubber bellies um, from all of our ships, and our new ships that we're making, that will save us, you know, a million and a half dollars this quarter. Okay? That's an economic decision we've decided to make. Well, then that oil tanker, you know, has a little accident out at sea and has a huge oil spill in the ocean because we took out, well, partly because we took out those, um, those special liners. We're not liable for that. That is, the board of uh, directors or the operational, um, whoever's making operational decisions is not liable for the fact of the, for this huge spill because of the choices they made on behalf of the corporation, because the corporation must do whatever it can to increase the bottom line, the profit margins, the surplus value above all else. That's really what is important here, okay? So corporate, corporate personhood comes from the 14th Amendment, which as we saw was, was an amendment to the Constitution to make essentially black people people, um, people by law appar apparently, and so corporate lawyers use that to kind of jump in and say we, we are people too. Um, but like I said, the natural people, which is us, natural human beings, are not responsible for what the juristic person does. The corporation is the juristic person, what they do. You know what I'm saying? You have limited liability. You're not liable for what that corporate person does. But corporations have rights of privacy. They're able to lobby just like we are and probably more effectively, um, they're able to have free speech, they can own property, they're able to be sued or to sue, okay? Um, but it protects the shareholders from personal liability. It just basically means, and again, often the majority shareholders, those who have big investments in, in company stock, those are the ones that are making many of these decisions and they are not personally liable. They will not lose their house you know, or anything. The only way they really will is for like insider trading or anything like that. Um, you know, that's where you can get in trouble, but they're not par personally responsible for the unethical things done on behalf of or that the corporation does, okay? So a few things about corporate structure. Um, we have a few ways of thinking about uh, integration. So we have horizontal integration. An example of this is, is owning multiple companies within a specific industry, uh, owning multiple film studios, owning multiple record labels, owning multiple snack food, you know, brands or whatever, okay? Uh, that's kind of what, what that is, horizontal integration. So like you own multiple news agencies or newspapers or whatever. 
Uh, vertical integration is a little bit different. Um, I talked a little bit about this in one of our early classes where we talked about um, you know, um, ownership in Hollywood and ownership in the TV industry. And basically, like for films, uh, vertical integration would mean owning, you know, the companies that make the cameras and then owning film studios and then owning film distribution companies and then owning film exhibition uh, technology and film exhibition spaces like theaters. You can't do that. Um, but vertical integration allows you to own some of those steps. So like you could own a film a film studio and you could own, or multiple film studios, you could be horizontally integrated in that component. And then you could own film distribution companies, you know, but you couldn't own everything, every step of the filmmaking pro process that would be considered a cartel, okay? Uh, then diversification, that would be like owning companies in other industries. So a diversified company um, you know, we could just think of as Viacom. Viacom owns, um, no, uh, no, well, let's just say Vivendi, okay? Uh, Vivendi is a large French international conglomerate. It owns Universal uh, Music Group, which is the largest recording company in the world. Um, it owns uh, Activision, the video game publishing company. It owns film studios. It owns uh, hazardous waste dump facilities. It owns snack food companies. Okay, they're diversified, the meaning that they own different types of companies in different types of industries. Um, in terms of ownership, you have a couple levels. You have the shareholders. These are the people that own the majority, uh, majority of shares in, in a company, majority shareholders. Then you have the uh, chief executive officers and other manage, 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 managerial uh, higher up staffs, uh, you know, COOs, um, CFOs, etc. And then you have the board of directors. The board of directors is, is often the, it's a group of people that are making decisions for the corporation. Often it includes the CEOs and upper management. Often it includes the majority shareholders, okay? Um, you know, so basically, uh, if a company is publicly traded, um, <clears throat> uh, the majority shareholders have to have 51% of the controlling interest in the stock or to have the, the common stock. So if you, um, whoever owns 51% is considered basically the owner of a company. Uh, and that could mean four members on the board of directors who control 78% of the shares for a company. They're, they're the owners of the company. Or in the case of Sumner Redstone, who owns um, you know, Viacom and um, National Amusements and you know, uh, CBS, et cetera. You know, he owns CBS and Viacom by having more than 50% of the common stocks. That's how you become um, an owner of a company.